quick update for you and then a video for you. I, uh, on the 14th of April, uh, my son was born, and so, um, he's a couple of, he's about a week old now, so that's why I have not been able to produce content these last two weeks. Um, so we have a new little boy, uh, so we have two kids now, um, and that plus guiding plus other stuff, video content creation hasn't been as strong as it could be, obviously. So i um, looking to try and change that soon, so here's a video for you. Uh, I got a recent question, actually, from uh, a viewer. What is it that, because he's looking, he started getting into guiding, what he might need or, you know, uh, what he I bring on each trip. Um, I think it's important, if you're going to go into guiding, to be of a service mentality. And what that means is constant communication with the clients well ahead of time and what they want from the trip, what they want to get out of the trip, what they intend to learn or practice or pick up on the trip, and what they're willing to bring, where they're from, what they're like. So um, my most recent trip, I had uh, three gentlemen come in, two from Maryland, Baltimore specifically, and one flew in from North Dakota. So I knew that if weather was bad, we weren't going to be able to, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, postpone. So we kind of had to make the best of what it was. So what we ended up doing was steelhead weren't, aren't running anymore, and they really wanted to get in some fish. We are have a very, very strong sucker run. So they, two of them have never fished on a fly or very or fished frequently at all anyway. So what I ended up doing was teaching them how to dead drift certain things for fish. And you know, if you know anything about suckers, you can get tanks. And that's kind of what we were able to do today. So uh, I'll show you guys what I bring with me. Um, so the first things that I bring, I bring a couple different reels. Um, I bring a, let's see, I have a Qualifly uh, Maverick, Qualifly Carbon Tech, and I have a, um, a Fishing Sur Classic that I bring. Um, today, because I knew the steelhead weren't there, I brought six weights, 10 foot six weights, and then two 10 foot four weights, because one of the anglers was fairly experienced. He wanted to, uh, he was very particular about what he wanted to use and bring, so I was very happy to oblige and get him uh, a, the gear or kit that he wanted to fish. Um, and then, so two, one was a Snowy Prestige, one was a Snowy Diamondback 2, and then one was um, a, an older rod that I have. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it was a, uh, a Wet Fly uh, uh, Nitro, or Element 2 rather. Um, so, and then Flines, I had uh, two Snowy Lines and a Superfly Line, um, all floating lines, and then we Euro Nymphed. So, that being said, um, in addition to that, I bring with me typically lots of tackle, lots of boxes, um, because I'm not sure, but usually with suckers I use bright stuff, almost like steelhead flies, but uh, much simpler. Uh, so I'll show you guys kind of what, my, my garage is a mess because of trees and stuff, but here's my, my rack of rods. Um, I brought them all tubed up because my vehicle has two car seats now in it, so it's not quite as conducive to have everything pre-rigged, but it was simple enough to pre-rig once I got to the site. They needed two pairs of waders. One guy had waders, so I brought with me um, a pair of Snowy um, uh, breathable ultralights, and then a Caddis wader system um, breathable, along with a pair of Rothko uh, boots. Man, my garage is a mess. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Rothko jungle boots. Uh, in if you're gonna have to buy uh, multiple sets of boots. Uh, sizes for your clients, I would suggest going something like a Rothko Jungle Boot because um, they're really inexpensive, they hold up really well, and they might not be the most comfortable as far as like felt bottomed on the, on the stream floor, but uh, they are just as capable of holding grip as most rubber boot uh, uh, wading boots you're going to find. So that's what I went with. Um, he was very happy and comfortable that day. What else? Okay, so I brought with me an Allen pack. Uh, this is what I carried all of my flies in, as well as weight. Put a, uh, a net on there too, which was my wet fly uh, medium long handle. I had four boxes, some steelhead and egg patterns. I had some nymphs, in case we did find trout. Some streamers and some bright colored eggs. And honestly, 40 suckers later and three of those were tanks. The fly selection was pretty on point for the day, very happy with that, and they were very happy with that. Um, then I also had a chest pack with, uh, because of how high the water was, uh, I ended up going with 1X the entire day, and it did not matter, the uh, 1X fluorocarbon tippet, and they were very happy. Um, they The fish ate willingly and very frequently. 
um, as suckers do. For myself, I wore my uh, my Snowy um, uh, SXT uh, or sorry STX rather uh, the soft touch that I just did a review on not that recently or not that that long ago um, and uh, super comfortable, uh, very warm all day. Um, I did also bring a uh, what's the company called? Um, uh, my my jacket, my rain jacket was a mountain warehouse uh, ultralight rain jacket because it was about 60 degrees and stayed dry all day. <clears throat> and then I wore some cassette glasses, uh, nothing too dark. I wore their um, their lightest uh, kind of yellow smoke, um, not latest, but experimental uh, yellow smoke. That being said, I just rigged it like I would for steelhead, except for the flies that really did it were simple, little yellow, or sorry, uh, pink coronamids. The one that I was really excited for, that, that did really well, these little guys. They look basically like little, little shrimp, if you will, but uh, as you know, suckers are suckers for bright colors, especially in the Merc, and so um, chocolate milk water as it ripped down, picked up a few really big fish. Pictures I've already shown on the screen, but um, got two guys, their first ever fish on the fly. One guy had their first ever fish ever, and <clears throat> both of those fish were absolute monsters. The other guy who was looking to just get out with his buddies had a blast, caught two dozen, three dozen fish also, uh, and, uh, you know, just a good time all around where these guys got a good feel for what fly fishing in a stream could be like. Uh, we made sure to be very careful about where we waited because of how quick the water was moving. So uh, that's just something to also keep in mind. I did blow a boot out <laughs> myself, but after six, five seasons of constant use, and I needed some new boots. But that being said, uh, hopefully this little update and video was informative and fun. Um, if you guys want to contact me, links in the description below if you want to go out on a trip with me. Uh, springtime, we have lots of trout, really cool hiking trout, bass, uh, muskie, perch, walleye, um, uh, both floating and wading, bank as well, casting lessons and stuff. But um, yeah, fly fishing doesn't have to be crazy hard, crazy difficult, crazy expensive. Um, especially that's why when you try it out for the first time, go out with somebody who's willing to teach you. That's me. Okay. But hopefully the video was informative. Well, let's give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos in the playlist. Until next time, guys. Catch you guys in flip side tight lines and we're out.